sometimes I don't even know what to say as we start these live Facebook videos. Sometimes I've no idea how to start off and what to say because you know how shy I am at doing these kind of things. No matter how many times you do any kind of live performance, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's a Zoom, whether it's on stage, one can never ever get used to it. Anyway, afternoon Viva MK, fantastic. I always appreciate you joining me and I always appreciate um, you replaying and watching later on because of course it's not always easy for everybody to be available at midday on a Thursday, which is the most obscure time on the planet to um, connect with people, but at least you always get a chance to watch afterwards. So last week I said there's five things I wanted completed by the end of March. So I gave you my short term targets. One was the basics catalogue, give you more information about the outdoor catalogue. Um, no, that wasn't it at all. <laughs> the, fi the five things I actually talked about was basics, car um, incentives, new back office, showcase and gala dinner and of course the outdoor catalogue so i'll give you a quick update on those later on today because it's very important that when i give you a target and tell you that we're going to do something that i give you a regular follow-up on how we're doing and i'll tell you now all those things are set to be complete throughout march and of course the outdoor catalogue is until april but i'll give you a very specific timing for it it will be in the month of april so just quickly, I, I remember mentioned last week that Lauren Hardy, our own Andy Bucks and Ram Langer are, uh, are doing another big one meeting this Sunday. Um, of course, tickets are still available. Fantastic lineup of speakers, all the motivation and inspiration you could possibly need in one room. And you know how important I think events are. And for those of you who attend them, how important it is to connect with people at such events. So www big1.space this Sunday at um, Junction 24 of the M1. You, if you can be there, then do be there because the lineup of speakers is absolutely fantastic. Now, talking of, um, talking, oh, oh, you can go on my timeline, of course, and there's a link there for tickets for the big one as well. Now, talking of events, um, of course, as we keep talking about our first event, which was back in February, was, according to you, a humongous success. And one of the overlying questions afterwards was, when is the next one going to be? Now, no one does events for the sake of doing events, but they're so important, not just for the information you get, not just for representing an organization, but of course, with connecting the people, so many people connected with each other in that room back in February. So please make a note for your diary because of course one of the five things I talked about last week was to keep you updated on things that were happening. So I will tell you that the date you need to keep in your diary is Saturday the 31st of August. Now that event I will give you more information as the weeks go by and I'll tell you when tickets go next week. I'll tell you when tickets go on sale and I'll also tell you what the whole idea of the event is. We're never going to do an event for the sake of doing an event. But of course, at the 31st of August, the perfect time to not only launch the Christmas season, because once September begins, the months of September, October, November and December are the most lucrative in retail. And you have to be able to hit those, you know, on, on the ground running. You really do. Um, so September, October, November, December are the most lucrative in, 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 in retail. So 31st of August gives us the perfect platform to not only reveal what's happening for the last quarter of the year, but also give you things that you need to make sure you make the most money. Now, if you remember at our last showcase, I made a pledge that by the end of 2019, that we will build Viva MK in such a way that it will hopefully uh, encourage you to put all your effort into one business. Now, I will say it for the record, I've never been against anybody doing what they need to do to make an income, to make a living. If anybody tells you otherwise, ditch them because, you know, 
at the end of the day, we're about people and I need people to be happy. You need to do what you want to do. But that doesn't stop me and us creating a business that encourages you to put your entirety of effort into one organization. On the 31st of August at our showcase, which for for argument's sake, we can call our Christmas showcase because it will also be launching Christmas. Um, by then, I'd like to think we'll be 75% of the way there of giving you the portfolio you need to put your entire effort into this business. And for us to do that, we have to give you a business that can satisfy all of your income requirements. It's simple as that, there is nothing else to it. Listen, you don't join business to go to showcases, you don't join it for anything else other than to make an income. So I want to be able to give you a business by the end of this year that satisfies your income needs. That is probably the most simplest and straightforward one liner goal I've ever had. Of course, it's not simple and straightforward to get there because there's a lot of things that we've got to get into place. But that was my goal. End of 2019, one business that it encourages you to put all your effort in because it will satisfy your income needs. I'm totally confident we'll do that. You have to dream big and you have to believe big to get to these um, to amazing scenarios. So by the 31st of August, by the time we have our second showcase, I'd like to think we're 75% of the way there. So, 31st of August gives us the perfect day um, to launch Christmas. So, that will be the day that we officially launch Christmas to you, um, sparking off the greatest and most lucrative time of the year, which, like I've said, is September, October, November, and December. So, Saturday, 31st of August, will also be a gala dinner in, at which we will celebrate uh, all our success, you know. Um, I was very reluctant to do a dinner because for me, it, it well, I wasn't reluctant. It's just that, you know, um, you worry about these things and you want them to be a success. And I suppose I, I was being slightly self-defeatist. But you know what? The amount of people that have said we'd love to get together afterwards. We want another event. We want to connect the way we did on the 24th of February. And that was encouragement for me enough. We will be back at the same venue so that you know. Birmingham BCEC, uh, they, they treated as well. It was a great room. The atmosphere was unbelievable and that was something to do with the testimony to the room. Um, of course, it will be limited seats because I'm not going to go ambitious. I'm not about to go and book arenas in the hope that we can fill them one day maybe. But for now, let's start small and keep building from there. So we will be back at the BCEC in Birmingham where the showcase was back in February. It will be the same place for the dinner. The date is 31st of August. Next Thursday, I'll give you more details of when tickets go on sale and of course the theming and the idea behind it. But don't forget, 31st of August gives us a perfect opportunity to do three things. A, to tell you that we're 75% of the way, it'll give you one portfolio to put your effort into to give you the income needs that you have. Number two, it gives the perfect platform to launch Christmas, um, which is a perfect date because I truly Truly believe you should always launch Christmas in August to give you a running start for the last quarter of the year and that's the perfect time to do it and of course thirdly it'll be not long after our one year anniversary so it gives us a great opportunity to celebrate one year of success now success of course means very different things to different people for me the fact that we came from nowhere we built what we've got that we have today and people along the way have made money and are making money today but it's evolution every single day so three huge celebrations for the 31st it'll be our one year anniversary or we will have surpassed that but we can still celebrate it we can celebrate christmas but for me and most importantly i truly want to be 75 percent of the way there to to give you a business that satisfies your business needs, your income requirements, and a place where you really want to be, encouraging you to put your entire effort into one organization. Um, so that's what the 31st would. So do please make a note in your diary, and we will make that the second best event of the entire year because we've already had the first according to you so we'll make it the second best event of the entire year um 
So next week, I'll give you more information about that. Now, very quick product update. Many of you have mentioned that the tea and coffee stain remover um, um, product wasn't working well. So there's this new one and we've included that into the basics catalog. Um, so you'll see that in the basics and I'll come on to the basics in a second. Um, also, you'll find a spring clean kit at a fantastic price on the News Flash site, which is our online site. So do check that out. I did have an image of that here, but I seem to have lost it as per usual. So there's a spring clean kit. And of course, there's a character called Mrs. Huckleberry who you will find on Facebook who gives cleaning tips. And of course, naturally we've stereotype that as we would do. <laughs> I just scrubbed that, I didn't mean that. Mrs. Helicopter's cleaning tips and products. So follow on Facebook. Um, I think there's a lot of popularity with that kind of imaging around a character. So it's, it's just something that's useful for business in the background. So do check that out. So Spring Clean Kit on um, our online site, which is a great price on the News Flash site. And of course, the tea and coffee um, stain granu uh, granules have now been updated to give you a far, far superior product. And that being the basics. So now on to catalogs which is the lifeblood of our business. I know we're trying to develop our online presence and we will continue to do that and that's evolution, but our lifeblood today uh, as we speak is of course catalogs, irrespective of what anybody tells you, that's where the bulk of our business comes from. Now, when the bulk of your business comes from somewhere, you have to concentrate on that as well as building the other parts of your business, which is what we're doing. So basics, had to be increased we've added some more products in so we threw in some of these kind of things because uh, i'll tell you the truth is simply because we could printing is not cheap um but we were given extra pages for the same print cost so we've added more products in um now that will be guaranteed in all orders from monday but that means any orders that we get over the weekend will all have 50 of those um, basics catalogs in them. Now that's two or three days later than I wanted because of course we all wanted it this week. I said it would be March but I wanted it this week. I don't always get what I want. I get mostly what I want but not always. So all your orders from over the weekend will all have 50 of those. Um, they, they, they are still coming in, I think today or tomorrow. If it's today, we could possibly put them into some orders. If it's tomorrow, it may well be too late. So I'm still relying on that, but it's the logistics of getting them in everybody's orders. But what I can guarantee is every order over the weekend is where it'll begin. And we'll start dispatching 50 of those free in every single order. Order. Now, of course, if that concept of the basics does work, so giving your customers exactly what they've asked for or some of what they've asked for, then that concept will continue. But that just adds more products to your portfolio, um, giving you a wider range. Now, the basics isn't just about selling some basic plastic products. What it's about is encouraging your customers to open the other catalogs as well. So they, they, they open the basics, they find something they like, and that encourages them to open the other catalogs. Now, talking of other catalogs, I told you that I'd give you a timeline today so you know when catalogs are coming, product ranges are expanding. Because we're such a new company, we're kind of trying to find our footing in the market marketplace. I know we come from a heritage of clean easy, and we've you know we we have years of heritage behind us, not just clean easy but other business as well. But we have to find our own identity, our own footing. So basics in your in all orders from probably the weekend onwards if not tomorrow but i can't guarantee that because sometimes we get let down by printers you know these things do happen the outdoor catalog which will be as the title suggests a, a load of outdoor products right in time for spring sorry late sp uh, spring and summer but outdoor products and a whole lot more and as the week's gone i'll tell you more about that but that's scheduled for april then in june there's going to be another big publication. 
Now, if you remember our New Beginnings book, which came out at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, it'll be the second version of that. Not version, it'll be a brand new one. So in June, you will get a huge catalogue, and in my opinion, huge, because New Beginnings was huge, um, as a kind of follow-on from New Beginnings, but it won't be New Beginnings, if you know what I mean, but read that kind of catalogue, but a big book. I think in the past we used to call them the main book because it becomes a staple of your business. So for the purposes of this this conversation, let's just say you will be getting a main book in June, um, which of course will be chocked full of products. So that gives you something that's coming out in March, which is basics, something's coming out in April, May, we just got too many bank holidays, so in June you get the brand new main book and then of course end of August at the showcase we'll give you Christmas. So that gives you four more publications that are coming your way. Of course that possibly won't be the end of it because there'll be uh, specials that we'll throw in there, you know, one-off flyers that we'll potentially have and things like that, keep nothing. But those are your next four staples that are coming your way. Staple catalogs, basics, outdoor, main book and Christmas. And as I said, from April, so it's almost something every month except for the month of May, but I think the outdoor one is going to be latter April as opposed to beginning of April, That so that kind of comes in the middle, so March, April, June and August, each one of those months you will have a brand new publication, everything from basics all the way through to Christmas, and it's very strange talking about Christmas in March but you know you have to plan these things well well ahead and if you recall last year's Christmas the fantastic team at Viva MK got that together in a matter of weeks and it really was weeks I think something silly like three and a half weeks well now we've got more time to plan give you more of what you want um, which as uh, the idea will be that we will show you that for the first time ever on the 31st of August at the anniversary Christmas showcase. So the point is, you know, we're building our portfolio, we're building our presence. It is about identity. Nobody in the world knew who Viva MK were. And many of you put um, the name Clean Easy onto your day slips and so on, that we were a progression or evolution of that. And that's absolutely fine. I got no issue with that at all. But we didn't have, or we don't have our own brand identity. And after only, you know, nine or so months in business, you know, it, it, it's no wonder that we haven't because brand identity takes a long time. Today, I'll tell you what our brand is today. Today, our brand is you. Our brand is the network. Our brand is what you say and do at the doorstep. Our brand is your connection with customers. Our brand is your connection with other people. That is our brand. But the brand must encompass a whole system of things. And that includes our logo, the idea of the business, the principle of the business, the fact that we are the people's business and I'll stand by that forever. And the fact that we are a system of fantastic distributors. Now, you know, every other day, you know, I get approached by other companies. Can you believe it? I won't tell you who, but, uh, you know, you get approached all of the time. Not necessary to become a distributor, to but, but to become a corporate member of companies. And it really amazes me that some of these companies know that we're running the business we're running, but they still have the audacity to approach you. And that can only be because our reputation is getting out there um, as, as a collective. And that can be the only reason, because I cannot understand why anybody would have such audacity to approach somebody who they clearly know is running another organization. And I know that happens to every single one of you, and that's okay. It's always going to happen. It happened in Clean Easy. It's always going to happen. The reason you get um, propositioned by other organizations is because your reputation is getting out there and people know you from the past. People know you as the people that you are. And some of you are getting propositions two or three times a week. And that's, as far as I'm concerned, so what? Big deal. I'm really pleased about that. I know you'll be getting it because I get it myself, which is really bizarre because, you know, knowing my reputation, I'm surprised to get anything. <laughs> but the point is, you know, 
as a brand identity, we continue to get stronger. But after only nine months, that's not going to happen overnight. Well, it's not going to happen in nine months either. It takes time. But the things we're doing, the events we're having, you know, the connections we're making, the catalogs we're bringing out, the niche products that you will see in outdoors, which will give us a bit more brand identity, all go along the way to make us be a stand-up, standalone brand that isn't mixed in with anything else. And I think, you know, again, if I can say that that's where I'd like to be by the end of this year, you know, that's a fairly ambitious goal, if you think, because some brands that we all used to out there, commercial brands, they have taken decades and decades and decades to get the recognition they have. So it is a lofty goal to be able to have that brand identity by the end of this year, but we must try, we must push that. And we'll do that by not only having um, the greatest connected network, which I truly believe we have, like I said at the showcase, we'll have that through having immense events that everybody talks about. We'll have that through just the social connection that we all have. We'll have that through the niche products that we have, and we'll have that through the continuous flow of products that we can continually cr create. But not only that, we don't have big corporation hangups yet, um, it, which means we can rapidly change things when we need to. We don't have the hangup of massive corporations where you get dimwits in boardrooms making pointless decisions. We don't have that. There's not many of us dimwits involved on this end, which means we make decisions very fast, which suit the progress of the business. And we'll continue to do that. And that is one of our little superpowers that we're small enough to make changes quick enough. And that's fantastic. So I hope that's given you something to think about today. You know, make sure you get that date in the diary. I'll tell you much, much more about that. I will never do an event for the sake of doing an event. You know, like the event on Sunday, like the Scottish millionaires, they all have a massive purpose behind them to motivate and inspire a network. And I take my hat off to the likes of Andy and Ram and Lynn who put these meetings on and Debbie who does her um, workshops and Zooms, I take my hat off to you because this is connection. And I've seen networks that are avoiding such things, but I think they're missing a trick. We're a people's network. We're not automated. We're not at the point where we can just speak to each other through Facebook. We have to be able to connect physically with people. I know that doesn't sound completely right, but you know what I mean by physical connection, physical and emotional connection is most important network marketing because as far as I remember, and I might be old school, but network marketing was about recommendation. It was about connection. It was about mixing with people people and that's what I really want this business to be all about so we'll never do events for the sake of it there will be a huge purpose behind the anniversary Christmas showcase on the 31st of August there'll be a huge valuable theme behind it and it will motivate and inspire and get the message out there every one of our catalogs has a purpose behind it not just to give you and your customers what you want but to go towards that portfolio where you put your efforts into one single organization and I keep saying this not because I begrudge anything else far far from it. I'm interested in your welfare first. You know, if you have to today do 27 different businesses to make ends meet, I totally understand that. But I want all of those other 26 to come into ours, not only because it builds our business, but it allows you to put your 100% effort into one organization and therefore building it far bigger than you can than diluting your efforts all over the world. So, that's where we are. So I hope I've given you something to think about today. Next week, I'll tell you far more about the showcase. And um, by then, many of you will, will have already had the basics. So I'll start talking more about the next catalogue, which will be the outdoor. So listen, thank you for listening as ever. Um, nine months on, evolution still goes on. I really appreciate the support you're giving me personally. You know I need as much support as humanely possible. Um, but even the fact that, you know, so many of you join me on, on this obscure midday timing on a Thursday just to watch and listen so thank you for that and I'll catch up with you very very soon take care bye bye